Hey yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to Anime Max. So, the recent One Piece chapter was crazy, huh? Owing to its already secretive nature and direct ties to the upper echelon of the world government, Cypher Pole Zero has always been a huge mystery in the ever-alive world of One Piece. Among some familiar faces like Luchi and Kaku, there is a beautiful yet mysterious woman who has appeared far too often to be just a random unimportant side character. Yes, we're talking about the woman who has just recently taken the center spot in the ongoing Egghead Island arc, Stussy. It has recently been revealed that she is no ordinary Cypher Pole agent, as she has direct ties to the greatest scientist in One Piece, Dr. Vegapunk. Stussy has been revealed to be a clone of one of the members of the infamous Rocks Pirates, Miss Buckingham Stussy. She's also the first successful human clone created by Mads, a scientific organization led by Vegapunk himself, and including the likes of Caesar Clown, Judge Windsmoke, and Queen from the Beast Pirates. Her origin was revealed when she betrayed the Cypher Pole agents with her and interrupted the battle between Zoro and Kaku by biting Kaku and putting him to sleep. She appears to have grown wings and eaten a vampire fruit which lets her suck people's blood and put them to sleep. After hitting Kaku, she even caught Luchi, the man who has gained the absolute trust of the top brass of the world government, off guard as well. She hit him with a sea stone laden lipstick to immobilize him and then put him to sleep with her powers. Damn, no one was expecting that. Now, before we get to the theorizing part, let's shed some light on who she is a clone of. The original Miss Buckingham Stussy used to be a member of the Rocks Pirates and is now really old and short. She seems to be quite feeble and insists on the fact that her son, Edward Weewill, is in fact the son of the strongest man in the world, Edward Newgate, or Whitebeard, and is insistent on using Whitebeard's name to gain favors from various factions in the One Piece world. One of those favors happened to be the appointment of her son as one of the seven warlords of the sea. She appeared in the story after Dress Rosa arc and made another appearance in the recent chapter. She is now referred to as Miss Buckkin, and she has come to Marco, the former first commander of Whitebeard Pirates, for help as her son got captured while protecting the people under Whitebeard's protection by the Navy. She claimed that her son was captured by the newest admiral, Green Bull. Her current role in the story so far is unclear, but she does open a lot of different prospects since there is a chance of a romance that may have brewed between her and Whitebeard when they were both under the Rocks Pirates banner. Now that we know who she's a clone of, let's focus on the younger, much prettier version instead of the old hag. She, the clone, is held in high regard as she is the epitome of their cloning experiments. So, before joining the Cypher Pole, she was also above them in the hierarchy to control Seraphim as well. That just speaks volumes of her worth. Apparently, it is almost confirmed that she is the person that Vegapunk called for aid a few chapters ago because the series of betrayals came just after that. It would also make sense that after pulling these stunts, she can't conceal her identity anymore in the CP0 ranks. So, all of these pieces seem to fit perfectly, as is often the case with this masterpiece of a series. So we can say with a lot of confidence that she is indeed the person that Vegapunk has called for help. Since she is such an important person in the Egghead Island arc, it is not far-fetched to say that her devil fruit might be just as special as herself. The devil fruit is based on a vampire, and so let's get a few obvious things out of the way. First. Just like vampires, she sucks the blood of her opponents with the large fangs, so that means that anyone coming for her would have to deal with that first and foremost. Second, it seems her bite causes the other person to fall asleep, so it's fair to say that she either sucks out the nutrition from people or she induces a sleeping toxin in the bloodstream that stimulates the brain and induces instantaneous sleep. Either way, it's quite a handy ability to have if you can get close enough. Third, she also appears to have a big black bat-like wings that she can summon on will. Further, her proficiency in using them was masterfully displayed when she dodges Luchi in the latest chapter. Now all of this gives us a pretty clear hint that it's something like a vampire vampire fruit, or a bat bat fruit. Speculating from that, we can guess that she may even have supersonic abilities like detecting enemies using their sound waves and such. And lastly, I mean, let's be honest, who here hasn't imagined Stussy biting them? It's an ability that suits her quite well, much to what the fans would want from a beautiful character too. Now let's get a bit creative and look for answers elsewhere since Oda has a not so good habit of hiding things in plain sight. 
Yep, it's about those stitch marks on Weevil. The last time we saw those stitch marks was in Thriller Bark. In that arc, there were various zombies who had their bodies stitched up. So it's a fair connection that he was either experimented on by Dr. Hogback or is another zombie. Since Oda loves his parallels, just like the original Buckingham Stussy, the clone might also have some ties to zombies, or the dead, or more specifically, Dr. Hogback. Thus, the fruit might have some even deeper ties to Gecko Moria or Dr. Hogback. It might be something related to consuming bats or some other animals and gaining their abilities. I guess all we have to do is wait for it all to unfold, because you never know with One Piece. It always surprises you. However, there might be yet another possibility. What if Stussy doesn't even have a devil fruit? Crazy, right? But hear me out. We know she's a clone, we know she's strong, and we know Vegapunk made her. So, why can't Vegapunk just make technological advancements in her genome to give her vampiric abilities? It's certainly a possibility that excites us all. It's another tie-in to Dr. Hogback as he seemed to have wings and vampiric teeth as well. He might have just taken samples from his genes and integrated them into hers. The next possibility is a clone for a clone. Since Vegapunk has successfully recreated various devil fruits, it might be possible that the fruit she has might be something that is completely not hers, but instead another copy of some devil fruit that is still out there. It might even be the devil fruit of the original Sussy, which gives us even more room to speculate about her origins and how she got that. The other one is that, since it was unplanned to get her into the government, maybe she got that fruit while she was in CP0. As we know from CP9 that the world government arranges various devil fruits for its most trusted and elite subordinates, so it's not a stretch, no pun intended for Luffy, that she might have gotten her hands on it while she was serving the secret organization. Yet another possibility is that the original Sussy was born with these powers. As we know, that there are a whole bunch of different races in One Piece. So she could be one of those weird races who have vampire powers and all of that may have transferred into the clone version as well. All of these scenarios have a fairly equal chance of being true because Oda is a criminal and doesn't give us all the good stuff at once. So we all need to just wait and see which one out of them turns out to be true, or if there is some other angle that we haven't yet thought about, as is often the case with the series. As for her affiliations, it seems she's loyal to Vegapunk only, for now. Stussy is very skilled at undercover operations, as the first time we saw the clone version was in Big Mom's territory at Pudding's wedding, where she was pretending to be a journalist to hide her identity and get all the information safely back to world government headquarters. It is true that her strength is mostly due to Vegapunk and his technological advancements, but we shouldn't underestimate her own parent genes as well, since the original Stussy was a member of the Great Rock's Pirates crew. The Pirate crew only recruited strong individuals and was filled with deadly criminals and constantly was on the government radar. In fact, it took two of the most fearsome and strong people in the entire series, the Pirate King and the Marine hero, Roger and Garp, to disband the crew and give people a breath of fresh air. So it's clear that she's not all just looks, as she was worthy enough to be included among those absolute monsters. And her vampiric abilities are almost metaphoric for her job. She works in secret and is focused on gathering intel, so the dark wings and the general ability to make others fall asleep instantaneously are abilities that many assassins and secret service members would die to have. See the pun there? She's a perfect fit for multiple dangerous tasks in the world of One Piece, where secret propaganda, assassinations, and tampering of information are pivotal to maintaining the central ruling structure. That's exactly why she is held in high regard by all the officials and why her betrayal was such a shock to everyone in her squad. It won't be far-fetched to say that she came to Egghead Island on purpose with Luchi and the others by skillfully manipulating information in her favor so that she could prevent the assassination of Vegapunk if given the chance. Which is exactly why she saved the Atlas body of Vegapunk from being assassinated. All in all, Stussy is certainly proving up to be an interesting character introduction. Everything from her appearance to her work and her devil fruit is a mystery that is finally getting revealed, and it couldn't be more glorious. It would be no stretch to say that we will see a lot more of her later down the line. And that will be all for now. If you liked this video, please drop us a like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified of the latest updates. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace!